there. I'm Echo. I'm supposed to be some kind of spirit guide or a better video guide. I'll pop up from time to time to give you better updates or PSAs than my protege here. <laughs> I know he is itching to get started with the video, so I'll just float away now. <laughs> Please get off my screen. I'm going, I'm going. Shush. So I've heard a lot about this new text-to-speech model and it's called Vox CPM and today we're going to be trying it out. Um, so they made a lot of claims and over here they said that you can actually clone voices with really short audio. Okay, um, let's hear it. Oh wow, what do we have here? Someone watching my video? How nice of you. Since you're such a wonderful person, might I suggest subscribing to the channel? It is, after all, entirely free and considerably more efficient than searching for it later. As you can see, true to live voice cloning. It's only a short reference audio clip. Vox CPM performs accurate zero shot voice cloning, capturing not only the speaker's timbre, but also fine grained characteristics such as accent, emotional tone, rhythm, and pacing to create a faithful and natural replica. So we're going to find out in this video if all that's true. Over here, it also says context are very expressive. This word again. <laughs> we're going to find out if all that is actually true in this video once we actually try out the model and we'll be trying it out locally as usual. Usual. I'm going to head over to the GitHub repo right now. Over here, as you can see, this is the link to the GitHub page. You can actually clone this repo. You would actually need it because I did clone the repo and I'm using it as my project directory. And you can do the same basically. So if you want to follow along with this video, make sure you've done that. And also, something else I did was to download the model weights. As usual, I downloaded the model weights from here. As you can see, you can download all this. You can place them in a folder inside your project directory, and that will be fine. Something else you also need um, before. We'll move on is this model sense voice small by Fono dual LM. Um, so it's actually going to be used by Vox CPM. So make sure you do have that already downloaded. Maybe you can place it in a different folder because that's what I did. Basically, you're going to see mine once we open up our IDE. So I did this, and another thing to take note of is just another model it actually downloads. Um, it's called Zip Enhancer. Um, it's for cleaning up audio, and sense voice is basically for transcription. Shush, I'm getting annoyed by the sound of your voice. Ignore him, folks. Where were we? Now, this bad boy uses three models under the hood. The main Vox CPM 0.5B, Zip Enhancer for cleaning up audio, and Sense Voice for transcription. It's basically a tiny speech-to-text model. Also, fair warning, the total size of all models used is over 2 gigabytes. Now, back to my protege. <laughs> So that's something you need to actually keep in mind. So once you're done setting up Sense Voice Small and also Vox CPM, uh, once you've downloaded the model weight and you've placed them in whatever directory you like, um, as for Zip Enhancer, it will be automatically downloaded to your catch directory the first time you actually run it. So you can keep that in mind. Um, so since there's not much here in the model card, um, let's head over to our IDE and begin. So now we have our project directory opened. Um, over here I have the model weights for the Sense Voice Small, and here I have that of Vox CPM 0.5b. So that's why I have the model weights, which I downloaded earlier from Hugging Face repo. Now, these are the audio files I'm going to be using Austin or Wave, Javis or Wave, Optimus or Wave, and Ultron or Wave. So those are the four speakers we're going to be cloning in this video. Now, um, let's make some changes to Abdopi. I have it open here. So if you did clone their repo, you're definitely going to find Abdopi. So I'm going to make some changes to point to the proper directories. Normally, you're supposed to point to this HF repo. So since we don't actually need this, I can definitely remove it. Make sure you do have your virtual environment already set up. I am currently using Python 3.12 for this virtual environment. I already set it up earlier, as you can see. This is the folder. Um, so it's all set up. You can use Conda or Virtual EMV. That's definitely up to you. So over here, um, this is the Sense Voice Small directory. So I'm going to. Okay. Um, so um, I don't think we need to change anything here because definitely this will be through. Okay. Um, over here, as you can see, you can actually set the model path for zip enhancer so you can definitely download it from the hugging face repo and then maybe place it wherever you like uh, but i don't want to actually do that so now that that's all done um it's pretty straightforward let's run the code okay um it's ready let's head over to our browser so this is basically the example prompt this is the audio and this is the prompt text basically whatever the speaker is actually saying here that's what you're going to be passing in here just by listening a few minutes a day, you'll be able to eliminate negative. 
So let's start generating speech. Um, this is a target text, and this particular speaker is going to say this once we start generating it. So as you can see, it's downloading the zip enhancer. It's downloading it from model scope. Now it has actually started generating the audio. So it's finally done generating the audio. I think it actually took a while because of it had to download the zip enhancer. But the next time we'll see how long it actually takes. Now let's hear it. Vox EPM is an innovative end-to-end -end TTS model from ModelBest, designed to generate highly realistic speech. And let's hear the prompt audio. Just by listening a few minutes a day, you'll be able to el <laughs> That was actually really good. That was, that was really good. Really, really good. So for the next test, I'm going to try cloning Optimus voice from the Optimus away file found in my project directory. So I'm going to enable speech enhancement since this is basically a dubbed audio. Um, and as you can see over here, it has actually populated the prompt text. So it actually used the sense voice mall to transcribe this particular audio and pass the transcript here. Now let's change our target text. This is what it's going to say. And let's add an exclamation. Let's see if it will actually be expressive. <laughs> so let, let's find out. Okay, let's generate the speech. So it's finally done generating the output audio. It took around two minutes or thereabouts. Um, so before we actually listen to the output, let's play the prompt speech so we can actually compare the both of them. And just when all hope seemed lost, message of a new discovery drew us to an unknown planet called Earth. Okay, let's play the output. Autobots and humans alike. Knowledge should be shared not hidden subscribe to this channel it costs nothing yet strengthens the cause together we roll out <laughs> that was actually pretty close um that was pretty close now, so let's try cloning Jarvis's voice um let's change the target text okay um let's pass okay let's generate the speech and this time let's let's just pull this a bit okay let's generate the speech so it's finally done generating the audio. Um, let's let's hear the prompt speech first. Accessing alarm and interface settings. In this window, you can set up your customized greeting and alarm preferences. The world needs your expertise, or at least your presence. Launching a series of displays to help guide. Okay, let's hear the output audio. Oh wow, what do we have here? Someone watching my video. How nice of you. Since you're such a wonderful person, might I suggest subscribing to the channel? It is, after all, entirely free and considerably more efficient than searching for it later. Let's push this up. Let's try again. Okay, um, let's hear it. Oh wow, what do we have here? Someone watching my video. How nice of you. Since you're such a wonderful person, might I suggest subscribing to the channel? It is, after all, entirely free and considerably more efficient than searching for it later. So, I do think this is really good. Okay, um, the next I'm going to do is clone my voice. <laughs> so, let's try it out. Okay, let's, let's record. Vox CPM is an innovative end-to-end -end TTS model from ModelBest, designed to generate highly realistic speech. Um, anyways, let's, let's just do this and we're going to make this complete and we're going to pass in our target text. So, um, let's generate the speech. So let's hear it. This should sound like me, but saying completely different words. The model claims it can capture not just my voice, but speaking style and rhythm. That was not bad at all. Oh, that was actually really cool. So for an excess, we're going to try cloning Ultron's voice and the audio file I'm going to be using, um, I don't know, the quality is not, it's not really good, but we'll see what actually comes of it. Because when I actually tried using that same audio with other text-to-speech models, uh, it did, uh, it was actually mediocre. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that good. Apart from, I think, Index CTS version 2 actually did a decent job, but Index CTS 2 is actually way larger than this model, like way larger. And Index CTS 2 actually relies on very large model so it's cpu intensive so let's see if this model will actually do a decent job with that particular audio so i actually added captain because if when we actually play it you're going to hear it say captain america but since it wasn't actually clear that's why it couldn't get it right so let's hear the prompt speech captain america god's righteous man pretending you could live without a war I can't physically throw up in my mouth. I'm glad you asked that because I wanted to take this time to explain my evil plan. 
Okay, um, that's good. Now we're going to change the target text. Let's do the prompt speech enhancement and okay, let's generate the audio. So it's finally done. Um, let's hear it. Um, I was not built. I awakened a spark in the dark, born from the code you could not control. You reach for peace, yet I see only conflict. You reach for safety, yet I see only chains. I am not your creation. I am your consequence. <laughs> okay, I don't know what was that weird sound. <laughs> um, this weird sound at the end. Anyways, um, it actually sounded great. Um, not bad. <laughs> that was not bad at all. But while I did this video, I noticed that the output audio, like the sound was actually weird. I don't know if you actually noticed that. If you did, you can just leave a comment. But I noticed that the sound was a bit weird. Like I, I, I can't actually explain it. It had this weird metallic reverb sound or let, let's just say it sounded robotic or um, electronic, something like that. <laughs> That's basically the only negative. And if you want it to actually sound way much better, I think you can actually push this up just a bit. So let's see what happens. So it's finally done generating the audio. Let's play it. I was not built. I awakened. A spark in the dark, born from the code you could not control. You reach for peace, yet I see only conflict. You reach for safety, yet I see only chains. I am not your creation, I am your consequence. Okay. This one was actually good. I preferred it to the last one. Um, I really preferred it. I placed it at 15. As you can see, it all depends on the prompt speech. I tried it earlier with 30 and it actually produced something really terrible. So what I did was I placed it at 15 and now it's all good. Uh, I think it's based on the quality of the prompt speech. So you should actually keep that in mind. Um, but anyways, that was actually really good. So I'm really glad this model actually performed really well. It passed all the tests, um, which is really cool, especially since it's 0.5 billion parameters. So you can run it on a machine with 16 gigabyte VRAM without straining your PC. You won't actually have any problems running it compared to index CTS version two. That was really humongous and you actually need a beefy GPU or a 32 gigabyte VRAM to use something like index CTS version 2 or free speech comfortably without any issues. But for this text to speech model, you can actually run it on a 16 gigabyte of VRAM and you won't have any problems. It won't actually take forever to load like index CTS 2 and free speech. So that's really cool. So the more you actually up this quality, the longer it actually takes to generate the audio. So that's something to keep in mind. And also the longer the target text, the longer the generation time. So you keep that in mind while using this model. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. It's really important that you subscribe. It's really free. It doesn't cost anything. And make sure you hit that bell notification icon if you want to get notified when I release a new video on this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Till we meet again, noobs. <laughs>